What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the new feature called Apple Pay. So I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up and how to use it, as well as an actual live demo of me using it at Walgreens. So let's go ahead and get started. It's really simple to set up. You can see right here, if we just go to our passbook, this is where you're gonna set it up. You can tap on passbook and you can notice that I've actually already added a card. But what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and add another card. So I'm just gonna tap the little plus button right up here at the top. And this is the screen that you're gonna see to begin with. So if you don't have any cards set up, then you're gonna get this little card right up here. So you're just gonna tap on add a card or add another card in this case. And then once that's done loading, you'll see right here that it's gonna give you all the information that you need to uh, actually input in order to add a card. Now, if you have an iTunes card or a card linked to iTunes, then you can actually take that card directly from iTunes and use that card directly. So you can see right here that I just need to input all my information, just like my card number, my expiration date, and my security code right here. And if you don't actually want to input the card number, then you can just take a picture by tapping the little camera button right there. So after you're done filling out that information, this is the screen that you're gonna get. It's the terms and conditions. So go ahead and tap on agree, then you'll get a little pop-up, tap agree once again, and then it's going to verify your card. And this could take just a little bit, and then once your card is verified, you can see that it brings you to this screen and it's going to say your card is being activated. So just wait maybe a minute or two and it should go ahead and activate your card as you can see right here. So then once you have your card set up, make sure that you set a card to default. That's the card that you're gonna to wanna to use every time that you use Apple Pay unless you select a different one. If we go into our settings here and we scroll down here to Passbook and Apple Pay, and we open that up. You can see that I have two cards right here. You can also add a card from this screen as well. And then you can see right here that we have a default card. So right now I have it as my Bank of America Visa credit card, which is this one, the top one. So every time that I go up to anywhere that accepts Apple Pay and I use Apple Pay, it's going to automatically use this unless I select this one while checking out. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So what I'm gonna be showing you here in this live demo is me going up to Walgreens and actually using Apple Pay, just to show you guys how simple and easy it really is. You don't have to take your card out or anything like that. All you need to do is put your phone up to the NFC scanner and you can see right here that it's going to allow you to select a card. Now, if we put our finger or our Touch ID finger over the Touch ID sensor and put it up there, it's gonna automatically go ahead and pay for that using your default card. Now, of course, this isn't only going to work in brick and mortar stores or retail stores. You can actually use this within applications that support Touch ID. Now, keep in mind, this is only going to be working with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, as well as the new iPad Mini 3 and the iPad Air 2. But some of the applications you can actually use this in are Airbnb, Cherish, Disney Store, Fancy, Groupon, Lyft, Uber, Staples. I mean, there's a ton of applications that actually accept Apple Pay. So if you're paying for something within an app, then you'll have to see if it actually accepts Apple Pay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you wanna see more of my videos about everything jailbreak and everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.